Okay everyone, so in this uh, tutorial, we're gonna learn how to add Bootstrap in HTML in 2023. Alright, we're gonna add the latest Bootstrap and we're gonna do this using an index.html file. So we also have the browser right here so we can see the difference. So right now we only have an H1 tag, but we're gonna add the navbar from Bootstrap. So first we're just gonna go to a new browser. We're gonna type in Google, and now we're gonna search for Bootstrap. Hit enter. All right, go to this one, getbootstrap.com. And we're gonna go and click on Docs in the top left corner. First we're just gonna go and add the nav bar so we can see the difference. So we're gonna go down to Components, go to nav bar, we're just going to go down to this nav bar. We can see the preview right here and we can see the code right here. We're just going to go and click on copy to clipboard. Go back to Visual Studio Code, but you can use any other code editor of your choice. So now we're just going to go to the body tag. And now we're going to just add this right above the H1 tag, like so. Now we can see that we have the code right here. We can go to the browser and just have a look. Now we can see that we have a nav bar right here, but uh, we want to use Bootstrap to make this look beautiful. All right, so we're gonna go back to Bootstrap. We're gonna go to uh, Docs, go to Getting Started, Introduction. We're gonna go down and just make sure that you have this meta name viewport. You can see it right here. Just copy this one if you don't have it. Go to your code editor, go to the head tag, and just paste it right here. As you can see, I already had this one, so I don't need to do that. Go back to Bootstrap. Now we're gonna go down to this one, CDN links. Copy the CSS URL. Copy this one, go back to your code editor. And in your index.html file, we're gonna go to the head tag and we're gonna add it right below the meta tags. Now we're gonna add link and hit tab. Because I'm using Visual Studio Code, Emmet will autocomplete everything. All right? Otherwise, just type this manually. And after that, just in the href, between the double quotes, we're gonna paste this link, like so. All right? Save this one. We are not done yet. We need to add a JavaScript file as well. But we can go and check uh, that the CSS works as well. We're gonna go to the browser. And now we can see that we have the navbar right here, but we don't have the JavaScript in place. And that's why the drop-down menus and things like that doesn't work. We need JavaScript for this, all right? So we're gonna go back to Bootstrap. And now we're gonna go to this one, JS. Just copy this uh, URL, go back to your Visual Studio Code or code editor of your choice. Now we're gonna go to the body tag and we're gonna go at the end of the body tag. Right here, we're gonna place the marker and now we're gonna type in script. And as you can see, I get the suggestions because I'm using Visual Studio Code. And then we're gonna use this one, script src. All right, so we get this autocomplete by Emmet. Otherwise, type this manually. All right, so within this SRC source, we're gonna paste the URL, like so. We're gonna save this, we're gonna go back to the browser, and we're gonna update the browser, and now we can see that the drop-down menu works. Okay everyone, so make sure to subscribe for more of these videos, we are all about web development. And also, you can join our Discord server, we are all about web development, you find the link in the description below. Have an awesome day, take care and bye.